is for life. Industrial. What does explosion safety have to do with a canary? My name is Tobias Alman. I'm a project engineer at Rambe and today we'll be looking at flameless venting. One industry that often had to deal with explosions from very early on is the mining industry. Flammable gases trapped underground frequently led to catastrophes. Safety engineers then developed the Davy lamp. This not only provided light, but also indicated where the flammable gases were present. The gases were able to reach the flame via the flame arrester, ignite, and then become noticeable by the blue tinge to the flame. This allowed the miners to always know when they should leave the mine. The flame arrester also cooled the gases down enough so that the ignition temperature could no longer be reached outside. This then eliminated the risk of explosion. It is precisely this principle that we at Rembe took advantage of when we were considering how an explosion could be captured. From this we developed flameless venting, now known as q -hor. Constant improvements and further developments have now brought us to our three current Rembe family members q hor Q-Box and Q-Ball. q, -Hor, q, -Ball. q -Hor continues to be the head of the family. It is simply an all-rounder as it can be used for gases, dusts, hybrid mixtures and other special applications. Q-Box specializes in organic dusts in dust explosion class ST1. And our newest addition to the family, Q-Ball, is perfectly suited to use with vibrating screens in the timber industry, in the Superlight S design. While the elongated version E is perfect for elevators and through conveyors. The basic principle remains the same. The explosion vent gives the flame a clear path towards the mesh in the event of an explosion. The mesh then functions like a heat exchanger. The thermal energy of the flame simply cools down at the mesh. Little more than hot air is left behind at the end. We have measured a maximum of 100 degrees Celsius and 5 millibars at a distance of 1 meter. This is not even enough to give us sunburn or damage our eardrums. But why and, above all, how can you use this technology in your project? Well, that's relatively simple. If your vessels are indoors and it's not possible to use a vent duct to the outside, then we're only left with the options of explosion suppression or flameless venting. As explosion suppression is generally very expensive to procure and maintain, flameless venting impresses with its simple and, above all, passive mode of operation. There are hardly any operating and maintenance costs. Only an annual visual inspection is required. And if there is ever an explosion, the flame filter can be reused. Only the explosion vent needs to be replaced. This protects people, machines and the environment. I'd now like to tell you more about how it does that. First of all, it's important to note that only a certain amount of energy can be absorbed at any given time due to the way flameless venting works, for example like a heat exchanger. So if a large volume is vented, a correspondingly large amount of venting equipment needs to be installed. The flame arrester also somewhat reduces the effectiveness of venting. However, we already take this effectiveness reduction into account in our calculations. The calculation is generally the same as for normal explosion venting. The explosion venting area is calculated according to the EN standard or NFPA standard. We use vessel volume, vessel strength, the length to diameter ratio, the dust or gas specific parameters and the static burst pressure of the explosion vent as the basis for this. During the planning phase it is important to take into account that the venting equipment is installed either vertically or horizontally. In addition, dead space must be avoided in front of the explosion vent both for hygienic and safety reasons. The weld on flange must also safety absorb the recoil forces and weight. The safety areas must also be observed. You can find these in the respective operating manual. The EN standard also stipulates that all flameless venting is monitored. 
You can do this with the integrated signaling device and the supply transformer isolated barrier. But we still don't know what a canary has to do with the explosion safety. Well, before the Davy lamp was invented, miners simply took a canary underground with them. This reacted to even small amounts of flammable gases. This was a sign that the miners should leave the tunnels as quickly as possible. That was our video on flameless venting. I hope you liked it. If you need more information, simply visit our website www.rembi.de or give us a call. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.